what is going on guys hope you're all doing well uh back with another replay analysis today we're going to talk a little bit of nrg aka the most washed and chalked team that the rlcs has to offer uh, but jokes aside i am still a believer in this team let's watch some games and uh talk a little bit more about it why don't we Alrighty, in the background we have NRG from the uh, Regional 2 closed qualifiers that we had. Uh, when was this? Earlier this week? Over the weekend? I can't even remember at this point. Uh, but they went 3-0. Yay! It's closed qualifiers. I know it's not that impressive as uh, Wash Garrett is going to uh, miss that aerial there. Uh, but jokes aside, um, I'm still a believer in NRG. Maybe you've heard me talk about this before if you've followed me for a while. Um, for a little bit of context, I want to say I'm not an NRG like fan, right? I just, I used to actually be anti NRG, to be honest with you. I was, they, they were boring to watch. I didn't know why everybody was so high on them. Uh, but then the discourse got so negative that, uh, it's basically like when a, you know, when a stock gets too low and you're like, well, I gotta buy some of that, right? If Tesla, you know, drops 300 bucks, I'm going to buy a little Tesla, even though I'm not, you know, like the biggest believer, but I digress. I just think NRG still has it in them. Um, I don't really agree via eye test with this whole, um, you know, kind of chalked, washed uh, mentality. I think it's more of a mental thing than a mechanical skill thing for NRG. Uh, this was something that I really doubled down on after I watched them at Worlds. I thought they looked um, so flat. It was unbelievable. Uh, it was honestly a, a touch embarrassing to watch for um, the level of players that they are. Um, but still not super out on them. Um, let's let's kind of let's 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 rewind a little bit. Why don't we and talk a little NRG? Um, so let's. Uh, where do we even begin? It's it's so difficult. I, I think it's fair to say that NRG fell behind the meta, and it happened pretty quick. Um, their style was this very as they're going to get dusted for the first goal there. Um, but their style was very laid back, right? You know, very counter heavy, basically the elevator pitch of what they were trying to do was boom the ball downfield play a lot of defense and basically let the opponents outplay themselves or whiff the ball and then they would kind of score off of that so these crunching clears onto the backboard just trying to put the defense in weird scattered positions or play defense for so long that you force the you know opposition to go so far forward that they they shoot themselves in the foot uh this is really something and actually let's watch this from squish's point of view this is a nasty cut this is really something i do a lot huh kind of getting off my own points but i think um i think now the meta let's just watch this let me not talk i'm gonna cut myself off again look at this camera switch cut and finish but back over to our boy garrett but that's really not how you can play the game anymore, especially at the highest level. I think players have upped their mechanics across the board to a point where just booming the ball doesn't work anymore. We're talking about, you know, players have better recoveries, they have better defensive awareness, better comms, better backboard and corner reads, all of that. You can't just crunch the ball anymore. That style does not work, um, especially when you're a team that doesn't score a lot. You just try and get these couple of counters a game uh, teams aren't afraid of NRG anymore, so they really needed to adapt. And here's Speedy Garrett uh, going to lob one over to Justin there, put themselves up 2-1. Uh, but you can't create space that way anymore. You have to be, um, you know, demo focused to some point. Of course, you don't need to, you know, uh, space station gaming it where that's all you do. But you certainly have to demo somewhat and create space that way. You have to starve your opponent and then score on them in that manner. And that's just not something that NRG has uh, a history of doing. So poor spring, they missed the major. Poor worlds, even though top eight finish, I, I don't care. They looked awful. And they decided to run it back, which I agreed with. I didn't think they should make a roster move, but uh, they backed out on that pretty quickly and they just got rid of Sizz and brought in Epic Johnny, who um, I'm not overwhelmingly familiar with. I know that uh, he played with Justin back in like season five without a style. Um, he actually played with Squishy as well back in like 2016. They're both Canadian, so maybe they know each other that way. Um, but they bring him in, so that's a little bit of an adjustment. Um, and NRG just needs to change their style. Last season, they tried to do this thing where Garrett became this 
uber offensive front man a la Rettles or Arsenal, you know, upfield, creating tension, stealing boost, trying to get demos. That's just not what Garrett does um, best, in my, in my opinion. I think his shooting accuracy and his creation are his best attributes. Um, so it seems like now they're trying to get into that a little more. Squishy played a really reserved third man role uh, last season. He's doing a lot more um, passing and creating like we're going to see right here. Um, and Justin is that super rock solid third man that rarely makes mistakes, very conservative with his boost, incredibly intelligent. Um, so I like this iteration a lot more. The question is, will it work against higher competition? Um, this is 26 rising. Uh, it's not it's not G2. So I understand. But I think the reason that I'm not out on NRG um, and maybe to give perspective um, from another vantage point uh, with an NBA example, um, let's talk about, you know, stars that were past their prime. You either adapt or die. So Carmelo Anthony, um, you know, he is the dude for the Nuggets. Uh, you know, he's the Knicks, you know, golden boy for years and years. And he gets old. He can't really do what he did anymore, his solo creation. So he goes over to Portland. He learns how to come off the bench, and he's you know still a useful piece for them. Um, and he elongates his career by adapting. And then we talk about somebody like Russell Westbrook, who you know is unable to adapt and now is the butt of every joke for the Lakers. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I still think NRG can adapt. I think that they're still hungry and trying to make moves. I don't think that their mechanics are as washed as some people might think. Um, so I still, I still believe um, in this team. Um, to be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised if they're a playoff team. I actually am kind of banking on it. Um, they still have a positive win to loss ratio over the course of this season. I get it. Even if you take out the qualifiers, take out the qualifiers and the bad teams in top 16 and main events, there's still a positive plus minus. So I'm just not out. Will I be absolutely blown away if they get one three out and they, you know, need to make another move or they need a little bit more time with Epic Johnny for this to make sense? No, but I think this team can still do it. I think they're hungry enough. And while I hate to see Sizz go, I honestly think that this is the change in fire that they need to uh, put it together on the field. So uh, I'm very excited to watch this team over the course of this weekend. I hope you guys are as well. Um, I would assume my opinion is in the minority. Um, I am very excited to hear what you guys have to say about it because um, I think that, you know, us talking about differences in opinions is one of the most exciting things in this esport. Um, you know, not just disagreeing with each other, but what is your perspective? What informs your opinion on NRG? What factors are important to you that make you feel one way or another about them? Um, please let me know below. I, I look forward to talking to all of you guys. And uh, as always, I appreciate your time. And until next time, guys, take it easy.